Okay. Uh, so this is the honor to me so to present a, to present this slide in this class. So first of all, I will. I'm really, really thanks to the Professor Taejung Guan. He gave me a chance to present my research areas. And then so, you know, I also have uh, thanks to the guys who joined the, this class. So uh, as you know, so my name is uh, Bamul Park. So uh, I'm an uh, alumni of the biomedical engineering department several years ago, I will graduate. So uh, today, so I'm going to the present is about the, the AI in body, biomedical imaging. So the title is a little bit wide and larger. So I could, uh, I just adding the subtitles is that it was uh, what to do in the hospital as an AI engineer. So before the seminar, so, uh, I'm a little bit sorry about that because um, uh, I'm not enough to the, have a uh, communication skill as English because of the honesty, I have no choice. I, I have no chance to using the and recently. And second, so you, you will find uh, some Korean character in these slides, but that is not a big deal or a big problem. So, so okay, so let's move on. Okay, just a moment. Okay, let's move on. I will talk about uh, four more four points. First of all, I will briefly introduce the basics of four AIs, and then I will introduce introduce the big data research center of the other medical centers, and then I will explain the some government AI R and D projects, and then uh, I will talk about the awards to those who want to become hospital AI engineer. So. Okay, I will explain the basics for AI. So I heard that you guys, most of you guys will, uh, are a fresh math. So maybe many videos are explained the AI or so you can have a chance to meet the, the word AI. And, but uh, there is uh, many words, AI, machine learning, pattern recognition, classification, many words are mixed as user. So in case of me, I just organize some level of that. So the base level, classification means as a grouping or dividing the data. And the more higher level is, is means the pattern recognition. I think that pattern recognition means related with the recognition of the, your mind. And the more higher level is machine learning. It is uh, learning and uh, learning the data and then predicting the results. And the highest level of the in this field means uh, AI, artificial intelligence. It is related with cognition. And then you can also find that uh, what is the difference between the cognition and recognition. This is our small homework. You can easily find uh, the means of the that. Okay, move on to that. So this sentence is a lovely death. So the author somewhere say, I think that he is a part of the, in this field. He defined that machine learning is a field of study that gives the computers the ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. So you just focus on that uh, being explicitly programmed. That is the differentiation the, between the conversation and the program skill. Now, okay, so why machine learning or the AI has a focus in that? This is a slide why the reason of that. Because of the machine learning give us some advantages. Uh, I think that the three, three main points is there. The first thing is reproducibility and reliability. And second one is possible to handle the multi-dimensional data. And the last one is the faster and cheaper as processor. Uh, and firstly, reproducibility and reliability is very, very important thing. If you are doing the routine task, a human has uh, some uh, labor intensive, during the labor intensive work, they can, could not uh, show the reproducibility. So another view of the inter and inter observer variation is problem. But in case of the computer, they are the very short, very small observer variation. And the next one is, uh, if you are human, if you, in case of you, you cannot imagine the, that is to draw the word image in the anti plotting. So if you can find the right side, you can easily imagine the 3D plotting like that. 
But however, if you are trying to draw in the 40 or 70 or the more higher demands on the protein, you cannot hard to draw in or imagine. But this is not a problem to the computer. So, and then finally, and, and recently, so along with the increasing the computer power like uh, CPU or GPU, these, these are the accelerated to the faster and cheaper. Now, this slide shows uh, some types of the machine learning. So I wanted to explain the detailed things, but you will have a chance to know this during your degree course. Maybe, so I briefly explain the three different things that Paul. In the case of the supervised learning, so there, there will be a data for the input and the desired output. So supervised learning and learn a general rules that map into the input data to the desired output. So to compare the supervised learning, unsupervised learning is that there is the only thing is input data. So based on the input data, the algorithm discovering the hidden patterns in data. So the last one is the reinforcement learning is the only there was a output data. So algorithm was interacted with a dynamic environment to perform a certain goals. So this is a brief review and then some detailed things that you, can, you will have a chance to know that. So I will just move on the next section. So this is a great chance to the introduce on the Big Data Research Center at the Arthur Medical Center. So what to do? You will have a questions that what to do and BDRC. So, and uh, Big Data Research Center are uh, trying to the uh, collecting the clinical information or research information and hospital system information. So based on the, these data and uh, we are trying to do the processing to make a uh, high quality data. And then based on that, we are analyzing the using the some kind of deep learning or the AI algorithms. And then finally, we wanted to apply uh, that algorithm to the improvement of the quality of the clinical process. Now, this is, is an organization of the Big Data Research Center. So Big Data BDRC is placed on the subset of the other medical centers. We are collaborated with some the departments like a Faculty Advisor Committee or the Big Data Academy or Standard Medical Data Promotion Teams or the, some laboratory. So, uh, this is a brief history of the Big Data Research Center. As you know, the, that the AI's uh, research field are, is very focused and recently. So as a medical center was trying to the starting the, this center in 2017. And then at uh, the 2018, the so Big Data Specialized Center was designated by the government. So now and then we are the having the some challenge competitions or some academic course, coursework. So now on the prom or now on the supporting the many research area. So maybe so you guys are curious about that, that if you are imagining the hospitals, so maybe you will only see the in the media the so doctors or the nurses are trying to the using the some clinical processor. But at recently the hospital are so focusing on the many, many IT infrastructure or the system. As you see that the in the case of the AMC are the the main, using the OCS or PACS in the early of the 19th century. So, so we are uh, upgrading the system and, and adding the, some other system to, to make uh, uh, the improvement of our uh, clinical qualities. So uh, somebody thinks about that so called the big data. So what the level of the how much it will be called as a big data. So AMC has uh, some uh, different types of the data and uh, has uh, um, how much about amount of the images. So like uh, EMR so called uh, the electronic medical records or the imaging or pathology or signal types or the genomic data was uh, gathering. If you see the, in case of the pathology, we have the more than the 4,000 terabytes. And then in case of the image, there are the uh, 
uh, higher than the 400 terabyte, and then it will be increased to five terabyte by monthly. So this is not the filming is easy. So I will explain the edit when uh, we have uh, five million patients registered. Registered. It means that ten percent of Korean was visited in this hospital, and then all of the information was saved there, and then related to like EMR, image pathology, something like that. The diff is very, very, very big data. So we call it the big data. And then uh, we are trying to do gathering the new data types. Uh, legacy, in case of the legacy data, you can find the like, clinical data like uh, demographics, age, sex, smoke survival stage. And based on that, we using the AI technique, it, we, we record it that the text mining, statics, and natural language program, something that we want to the predictions, make a prediction models to provide the improvement of the clinical process. Or else we, based on the imaging data, we want to extract the shape of the disease area or as great case statics. This is uh, the, some kind of legacy patterns, but at recently we are trying to gather in the new data types. In, uh, in case of the genetics or protein, proteins, or pathology or signal types data are scattering the two, the integration of the old data. And then now and then we make a data a cleansings and then provide the all the, all the various types of organs, so like breast, prostate, lung, any other things. And then so this is the main of the purpose of the, the BDRC because that we are called the open innovations because of that. In the case of the hospital, we call it the seeker because of the they are they have the big data, but they don't know the technology. So they are, uh, in case of the, the medical doctor, want to the require the clean, uh, technology skills. But in the in different side, we call it the servers so like IT company, manufacturing, the world university. They have the technological skill, but they require the data. So we are uh, we think that big data research center are the position between the these two sides. So we wanted to the uh, data sharing and integrate, and then we also so the less uh, make less than the barrier of the healthcare. So. For the open innovation, so we give a service two different types of the service. The first thing is we call it the border service. It is big data innovation research and development service. In this service, many other IT company are trying to contact the hospital. They will call it the big data research center. So we will and consulting the what is your problem and what data you need or what skills you have. And then we are just, just matching the counter pattern or let's just call it the medical doctor or the data things. And then now and then we make our idea to the make a program and algorithms. And then we are supported the end of the R&D or and then commercialize. So we are served and the more or more than the 100 cases in last years. And the major client is uh, like Lunit or Buno. Maybe one of you guys heard about that, the Lunit or Buno. That, that uh, this company is uh, well known as as uh, AI AI healthcare company at the top tier of the Koreans. So, and uh, second service is we call it the tree service. Uh, that means technology and research regulatory guidance service. Uh, this is uh, focusing on the, the government side that. Uh, so my, our major client was uh, the Ministry of Health and Welfare or the Ministry of Science and ICT and something like that. We are trying to the, make a guideline or the consulting the, of the so medical AI, something like that. So we are trying to uh, giving out the consulting service to the government. And then we uh, also have to provide some kind of the academic service. And so we are starting the, the BDRC center. So we are providing the education program by each annually. So 
So at every course that was held in the over the 10 weeks, so maybe you will get the uh, basic course or from the from the basic course to the advanced course. So maybe you can learn the, the DB or so a program R or Python, something like that. And then you can have a chance to deal in with the real clinical data. So maybe I will recommend you and then you will you want to take uh, this coursework or the program that I will let you the next program at the department. And another program is we will also have a competition program biannually. This program was supported by the government. So we will provide these challenges as a, uh, during these challenges, we will provide actually real problems in clinical data, such as, uh, for example, 2007, we are providing the real epilepsy data was breast MRI, was lung cancer CT, was brain MRI, something metastatic lymph nodes, uh, thyroid cancer images. This uh, data was a uh, real data. You, this is uh, hard to get a chance to dealing with this data. So, uh, in this year, year so we didn't have uh, these challenge computations but by the coroners, but maybe we are uh, planning to the have that next year. Maybe if you uh, have uh, some skills or communication level, you will, I hope to you guys join this challenge challenge at next year. So uh, this is uh, this slide to show that the uh, the BDRC is uh, main. Uh, government AI R&D projects. So we are also trying to the, doing the government projects. One thing is called the doctor answer. So another thing is uh, research oriented hospital. Uh, and then that's, that's our research fund is, is over than the 30 million US dollar and or something is uh, doing the almost 10 years so. Maybe if you are joined the hospital the organizer, you will have a chance to the, join the, this R&D project. Okay, this is the end of uh, my um, uh, simple introducing of the, my list organizer. I will introduce uh, two main projects. Uh, first thing is Dr. Answer. This is intelligent software technology developments for the medical data analysis. Uh, maybe you will have a chance to the meet uh, the name of the doctor answer because of the doctor answer was uh, selected the uh, number one R&D project entirely in Korea at last year. Oh, that was uh, uh, some the Ministry of the Science and ITTR has, uh, celebrated that. And then the, during the doctor answer, we are making one consortium. The, the consortium was uh, 40 organizations was joined that. That was uh, 25 hospitals and uh, 19 ICT companies. And then during that, uh, Dr. Answer Project wanted to the personalize the precision medicine solutions for the three different types. So first thing is cardio, and second one, the cancer, and the third one is brain. So uh, during the, that project, we make the 21 AI software so that was uh, to the prevention, for the prevention and diagnosis, treatment and the prognosis. Uh, and then so now uh, this slide, you can see the most famous hospital ever you seen. Maybe whenever you heard that the almost famous hospital joined that this project to make uh, high quality big data. And then the, that big data are open to the uh, more, high quality of the IT, ICT companies, so. And so Dr. Ernst project are so wanted to make uh, 21 software, AI software from the, the viewpoint of the prediction to the prognosis. And then as you see, the four software was focusing on the, the prediction and prevention and the three AI software one to the prognosis and management. Uh, some students uh, have uh, uh, questions about the why the number is different there because of the current AI level in case, and personally, I think that current AI level was and uh, focusing on the analysis and diagnosis because of the, if you want to make a prediction and preven prevention or prognosis, this is very, very hard to in current technical level. So, 
maybe next and the uh, the two project uh, we will focus move on the, the that area. Okay, now I will explain the simple eight uh, eight area. The first thing is cardio cerebral vascular disease. The Aspen Medical Center was the main organizer of the that area. So during the this uh, part, this organ. We, you can see the right side of the image is the human brain vessels using the MRI or the CT. And then if you have a brain disease, a cerebral vascular disease, maybe your vessel will be have a find out any reason. That means that your blood has exposed in the inside the brain. That make a, a something big problem, critical problem like a, a stroke or something that. So using the current, we call it the 3D hybrid rural right? it's called as a candy, the dream learning techniques. So we will find really this uh, area point eh, by the automatically. And then something will, uh, similarly, the second part towards the cardiac disease and uh, this is several hospital as uh, the main organizer. And they're using the, some X-ray image and the signal data was using the, to find out the abnormal point. And then during the clinical, uh, based on the clinical data. And then third one, so breast cancer is the uh, same thing. Maybe I think that supports this slide more interesting. And maybe the, you guys have no chance to have experience of the colonoscopy. Maybe it's a Korean, it's a Daejang Neishigyang. Maybe correct during the colonoscopy, correct for cancer is a big, big problem because of the, the based on the experience level of the doctor. So some freshman of the doctor can be easily missing the, this problem area because of they are very, very, very busy and they have a depend on the health conditions. But this AI programming program is also detected in on real times and then supported the data, they will alert you that you miss this area. So you can using this area software so, and then you can find the data. Other so the target organ is the prostate cancer, so that is Korean name is Jolisanan. And then the base on the MRI image it has and uh, used the, for the, the data set and then to detect the prostate cancer area, they using the uh, dream learning techniques and something and this slide is for the dementia case maybe we call it the korean as a chime maybe the dementia is a well known as a disease it is related with the thickness of the superficial thickness of the, your brain so maybe you have the dementia maybe your superficial thickness of the brain is will be less 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 and then so we are uh, the program, AI programming, program is trying to the, detect the every each brain area and then the measuring the, the thickness of the depth. And then they will alert you that the, the, the percentage of the dementia. Uh, Another uh, case is uh, the epilepsy case. Uh, so maybe in this case, we, the program, AI program was trained based on the EEG. So, so if we, you will have a chance to deal with the signal, uh, signal data. And based on the this signal data, we uh, AI programmers want to detect the, the abnormal point. So like that. Our uh, last one is a pediatric genetic rare disease. So we call it the Soa Nanchi Sung Han. And then uh, this is a very, very famous case. Um, if you, uh, in case of the pediatric genetic rare case, uh, the most problem is hard to decide the, the, what is genetic rare. Is that is the one? The one. Um, I'm sorry that most important thing is deciding time. During to, to decide that the, the genetic rare disease, it takes almost two or three years in recently by the conventional the method. But you using the, this, the AI method and the process, we will make a shortly as a, the two days. So the many patients, uh, many a pediatric genetic layers that case are uh, so happy to the this process and then they were uh, mostly widely used to that. 
So now, second one is our main other government project is a research oriented hospital. So that's our main title is AI and database ecosystem to support new drug development. We call it the aid. And then with the focusing is to support our new drug development. So uh, the aid program's purpose is uh, to supporting the industry and the university to, to the make a new drug development because of the conventional method, the industry are uh, hard to find the real world data. And then the, for the case of the university, they are, have a skill level, so they also have uh, some hard to find the real world data. So during the aid, you know, for the, in the case of the AI aid platform, we as a medical center decided to the whole entire data the, to the industry and university to make a new drug development. So, and then this is uh, what we provide during the, the uh, nine years future. So, so we are providing the associated discovery or the virtual clinical trials or drug reaction validation or target discovery, target validation, new medicine or patient maintenance. Every functional work will be provided based on the, these platforms. So we call it that the aid platform and then we also wanted to the viewpoint of the clinical level or the in silico level and from the in vitro or the in vivo level. So uh, based on the uh, other uh, sub, sub organizations, we will provide the entire functions that. So we hoped that besides to the bench two and was the bench to the better size, so we are so we also hope to support the entire process. Okay, this is a uh, main. Uh, this is slide introduce of the server organization one. So the main the purpose is uh, support for the clinical data utilization. So we are. Uh, I'm sorry that the Korean characters, but it is not big deal. So we are preparing the EMR based technologies. So and then we make uh, some our uh, data and AI platform based on the cloud system. And then the, maybe you will have a chance to be absorbed by the some cloud platform service. And then server organization number two are so hope to support the drug response party prediction. So maybe genetic data or so organic model will be prepared and then we will or serve the some kind of models. And then the, the, and some organization number three, or also hope to the support the precise, precise target discovery. And then uh, number four is want to support the patient management system. So, and uh, number five is uh, one or two, the integrated management system. So I think that it is, uh, these five slides is maybe a little bit boring to the student maybe, but if you have a chance to the join uh, the, some kind of R&D project, maybe this slide will be a little bit helping you to, to make your structure or the organization. Okay, uh, I will uh, present a little bit faster because of the, I think that the, uh, uh, the this slide is will be boring to you. So I'll, this is the last one part, last part. I want to hope to, to very, very important part because of that I call it that award to those who want to become a hospital engineer. So, okay, so let's bond, okay. Okay, I call it the TMI, but I think that this is my real experience, so. The point number one is don't be afraid of the knowledge of poor AI. Maybe if you yeah, have a chance, yeah. You said no, Pastor I I don't I didn't heard that. Please tell me that again. Okay, so this is a, a kind of noise. I will move on. Okay. Maybe if you have a chance to learning about the deep learning query, maybe this uh, algorithm you will learn, maybe banish gradient, relu, plane, or dropout, batch normalization, something 
Many, many different techniques will be announced nowadays, but I don't want to explain the details thing because this is not a big deal. Why? And recently, the neural network, it will, we will call it the deep learning. So neural network well known, and then you will easily have a chance to the, the famous lectures on your YouTube. Even you see the in this slide, the baby are sort of trying to learn the neural network. The technology is mainly make it easier, easier, easier. So don't be afraid. So I want to tell you that so the uh, Big Data Academy for Health Data Education program so on the earlier of the presentation. So I want to tell you that take uh, AI classes in other majors like uh, or computer engineering or computer science. So don't be afraid. And but uh, your uh, some most of you guys worried about your grades of the class, but. It's just class. It's not a big deal of the entire of your life. If you are wanted to learn the AI class on the other majors, it will be help you or help you your more future plans. So another chance is that if you are worried about that, the take out the AI class in other majors, just take out the so another academic programs like a BDRC provided programs, and then any other hospital or the organizer provide this lecture program annually. So you, you can easily find that and then take a class and then preparing the, your technical skills. Don't be afraid. Second point in the, I think that you will spend most of your time communicating. So this flow chart is, I love it, this flow chart because of that, I always prepare, preparing the AI development. I will, pre, I will start it here. So, so first thing, define the business program, mainly. And then we I try to do, translate the business problem into the data mining program. Data mining program is the same as the AI program. And then we, I try to move on the select uh, appropriate data, like how many data, how much data, what they, how, and then they get to know the data, find the problem on data. There is a blank or some problem. And then I want to create a model set and then to make a balancing the data and fix the problems with data and then we'll transform the, I finally transform the data. And then this step was, uh, perform the repeatedly and the to the make of cleansing data. And the finally I got the build I got, finally I trying to the build a model like choosing the classifier or the avoid the overfitting problems. And then I will try to the assessing the borders so like using the RC cover or computer metrics and then deploy the model the borders and then the assess the result. But during the this post chart, you may be think that maybe most of guys you think that they, um, most of times so you will spend in this part like build models, assess model. But however, in my experience, several of the times or effort are spent in this step. Why? Because of the death was communicating, because of the firstly, I will explain that the starting door define the business problem. Because of that, if you are working at the, any other commercial site, maybe the problem is related with business problem. So many people, many major the people are engaged in communicating. So like that. How about they think about the journey? Maybe some people are think that the journey means justice or maybe AI engineers think that journey means definition. So like that, many other people are think differently. So in case to me, I always talking to the medical doctor, they are always thinking inside of the clinical data, but it is hard to the translator the clinical problem into the, the technical level. So 
your effort and important thing is how to communicate it. This is very, very important. So I call it that. So some pictures. Maria Antoine, 이길 자신이 없다. Maybe you will be feel the easily. And then what? What prepared to you? So I think that domain knowledge is more important than the technical knowledge. Technical knowledge is I will uh, show that the point one. So I just uh, tell you that acquire the domain knowledge through the various BME class. Like uh, maybe during the, your BME degrees, maybe you can have a chance that about the digital healthcare, nanomedicine, or genomics, or the brain cognitive, many other very various BME classes. Maybe this is very, very important things to communicate in the, your counterpart. Because of that, if, you, if your major is a computer engineer, so you have a technical skills, but you cannot communicate in a way that medical doctor and flu country because of they are using the, their terminology like uh, something epilepsy or blah, 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 something like that. So, but if your uh, major is BME, you can have uh, many chance to learning about these uh, pairs. So this is your advantage. Okay, so this is my last point. Okay, so. This is a be a counter pattern as a, your engineer. So I would call it the engineer. So maybe engineer, I think that engineer mean is a, suggest a solution for the problems. So, okay, this is slide I always my always show the this slide to the, my counter pattern because of, if you are uh, some medical doctors that they are self diagnosed, can I do everything by myself? Okay, sometimes they will, a few people are can doing that, that some the medical doctors are learning about the deep learning skill and they program them and they crunch the data and make an AI algorithm. But this is very, very few, few case. You cannot see that that case. Most of the time, no. They will want to the counterpart that I call it the engineer. So. What kind of technical level is this? So maybe some people need a coder and then so to do the, the expertise, maybe we call it the, the owner of the chicken shops, the Dr. Sajangnim, techers. So maybe this is a big case, maybe the experts of the highest level of expert, they are trying to the BPK chicken, but always I will recommend the, as a counterpart of the medical doctor is postgraduate level because of they always trying to do, to do, have a research. <laughs> okay, uh, I will tell you that uh, maybe you guys are freshmen of the BME class, maybe you feel the hard to the, oh, there is a very, very many field of the degree, a uh, field of the coursework and then uh, you will, or how to know to understand. Don't worry about that. So many professors will help you guys, guys uh, to understand it and then prepare the, the top tier of the engineer. And then if most of the guys want to do the postgraduate coursework, maybe you will see that this means your professor call you the, and then tell you that research it. <laughs> maybe you will find that. Okay. And then I hope you guys uh, have uh, two weapons. So point one, the technical skills, and uh, point two, and your domain knowledge. If you have uh, two, two weapons, and then I will hope you guys join the, this challenge competition. And then if you have a higher score of the, this challenge competition, maybe as a medical center, we will contact you to give a jo job have a job or something, a chance to have um, a research project. So I hope you see, and then I will let you this challenge competition schedule to the, from the, your BME, BME uh, department. So uh, this is my end of slides. Uh, so 
Um, thanks to the guys. And then if you have any questions, so raise your hand or message me. Or, and then if you have uh, some feel uh, hard to the raise your hand, just email me. And the from first slide is the personally email me. I will the answer to that within the two business days. So I will hope to that. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Park. And uh, I was really uh, entertaining, informative talks, especially I really like really like your last slide. I feel that how hard time you had at, at Unis during the PhD. So, so any questions? So just curious, do you guys have any, any undergraduate internship program? For example, if students are interested in, can students can visit there for the, during the vacations and have some experiences about it? Uh, okay. Um, just a moment. Yes. Uh, uh, this uh, education programs will be during the uh, some period during not the vacation period because of the it will be over the ten weeks program. So, but this program will, will be handled during the weekend time. So we the so some students want to take the, this program. So they will spend uh, their Saturday and the Sunday to the this program. Maybe recently we will uh, we are trying to the offline the programs, but sometimes we will only we are providing the online programs. So any other some internship programs are not provided, but we are preparing to the some internship program the the collaborated with the Ulsan University. Maybe if we make uh, some internship program, the, I will let you know that, that at first. Okay. Thank you. And also, I mean, those kind of competition is, I think, really imper imper uh, important information. So, yeah. so the BME department is trying to make a hackathon-like project the next year. And I think yeah. that would be another uh, good activity for the students who can make uh, groups and then attend that together. In the sense of that, that uh, uh, context, because you said the Asa Medical Center is focused on the open innovations, I just wondering whether you guys have some open data related to your your competitions on a Kaggles or other repositories. Uh, uh, actually, we did not the provide as a, as a Kaggle site because of the, this data was a real patient data. So we are the, not pre premium the IRB issues and then uh, the personal health, uh, personal protection. So Is it not allowed the, after anonymized? Actually, uh, the government are so suggested that it will be allowed, but the hospital organization has uh, feel hard to the problems. So we just only provide this the real world data on the our private cloud system, maybe. But uh, you guys, all, um, if you are joined this challenge competition or some project, maybe you can easily uh, have a chance to deal with the real world data using the uh, Kakao cloud platform or something or the Amazon AWS cloud systems. Now, well, maybe if you are uh, have uh, some interest in to, to dealing with the real world data, so to join the this challenge competition or as a, uh, contacting the world the body service, maybe our way can make us contacting points. Okay. So, so we also the having the the Instagram channels to have yes. some promotions for site. If you have, if you, if so if you are planning to do these challenges this year, if you provide those information, I think I can share that with the other department uh, students so they can prepare that the attending. Oh uh, yeah, so in personality, so uh, during the this half challenge competition, so highest score was uh, some almost a. Uh, by the KAIST or Postal World Price and the highest level. But I hope the UNIS guys also can do the high scores and the positions. So I hope to you, uh, many guys of the, from the UNIS will uh, join the, the that challenge competition and then getting a high score. The, so I hope my this is my hope. So I will so let you- You can make know. you proud. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
Okay, any others? So actually, so the, the, after these classes, I have a post-class survey. So they also summarize what they learned during the lectures, but at the same time, if they have questions, they also submit that on a Google Forms. So, so if I have some specific questions about you, your, your lectures, I will also forward that to you and, and then ask the questions. So students, if you, don't, if you are too shy yet to, to ask the questions uh, directly, you can you can also submit your question through the Google Forms, or you can also, as as Dr. Park mentions, you can directly send email to him. Uh, so like the previous lectures, you guys may know that so the the three CEO lectures are on the the Unit BME YouTube channels, and Professor uh, Professor Lee's lecture last week is also on the way. And Dr. Park is also agreed to to open his lectures on a, on a YouTube channel, so you guys can probably after several weeks you can you can visit our uh, YouTube channels to check his uh, lectures again. Okay. Before I finish the, today's lecture, I would like to ask one one question to Dr. Park because of your <laughs> alumni on this ca campus, you experiences all the advances of this this uh, this area. I just want to ask, unfortunately, not all students have experience on the campus because of the COVID-19 the, the uh, situations, yeah. but I just want to ask you, what would be most uh, the memorable uh, moments at UNIST campuses during your, your PhD program? Uh, uh, my memorable point was that uh, the time was uh, the first MRI device was priced on the unit because of the, the MRI device is very, very, very expensive device, almost uh, uh, easy bulk. Yes. So, but during the, that time, the professor Hyung Jin Jo are trying to the getting a fund by the university. And then 2000, uh, 2013, maybe I, my memories, at that point, uh, 70, uh, 70 MRI was the price on the apostolate university. That was my memorable point. <laughs> so, so that means you start uh, studying the MRI even if you don't have the MRI. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah, so the, without the MRI real device, I just, uh, my professor, Hyung Jun Chol, I, I joined the, to uh, going to the Daejeon to, to visit the KBSI, Korean Beijing Science Institute to make uh, the MRIs, the imaging software. <laughs> so now, now I think it will be the good memory. <laughs> yeah, yes. 